AC Mirage is really close and we have even more info about the game. Here are 20 important facts we need to know before the game releases. You'll find another video in the description with more information about the game, details I won't repeat here, so please check that video out also. In this new AC game we will discover more about Basim's past and his hidden motives. The game will try to replicate the first Assassin's Creed game and it won't be tied to Valhalla. The game's creative director Stephen Boudon promises the game will be full of easter eggs and secrets to discover, some related to other Assassin's Creed games. One setting we will discover in the game is Alamut, the fortress in the mountains of Iran which was under construction in 1861 AD when the story takes place. Here you will basically train and prepare to take on Baghdad and kill the members of the Order. Basim will have a partner in crime named Nehal. It is not sure if she will be playable, most likely not. A new character next to Nehal will be Roshan, which is part of the Brotherhood and which did prison in Cairo in 1824. After Basim becomes a hidden one, he will get the Apprentice outfit, which is a white robe with blue shades. Like in other Assassin's Creed games, you will have a skill tree, and we got to see some of them. As Basim becomes a mentor, you will have the possibility to unlock new abilities. These abilities will cost skill points and a few examples of them are Breakfall, which allows you to perform a roll and take less damage when landing from huge heights, Air Strike, which slows down time while aiming with throwing knives in mid-air, or Kickback, after you parry you will have the option to strike the enemy back. One important thing to note is that there will be no XP progression and the story will be linear. You will only have the rank within the Brotherhood which will unlock new missions and tools. Each tool will have also an upgradable skill tree. Some of the tools are a comeback from older games. The blow dart, which causes enemies to go to sleep for example, it can also be replaced with the darts that apply poison or that make enemies berserk. Something similar to what we had in Assassin's Creed Origins, only that now you will use a stick and blow it to push the dart further away. You will be able to unlock the throwing knives, the torch, smoke bombs, a noisemaker and a trap. To check more new tools and abilities, please check the video in the description. There is at least 16 skills for Basim to learn, and with there being 20 skill points to spend, there could be a couple out there waiting to be unlocked. The skills are split into three categories, each one underpinning a queer focus of Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay, Phantom, Trickster and Predator. The Predator skills look like they'll take full advantage of Basim's Eagle Companion and Kidu, and the Trickster skills are also about taking advantage of tools and equipment. The Phantom skills seems to promise some truly cinematic gameplay sequences. One other thing Assassin's Creed Mirage will have is the Outfit Die, basically you will be able to change the colors of outfits similar to AC2 or Brotherhood. We have new changes in combat also, this means Basim won't move the same as in Valhalla, or use similar animations as Eivor. We will see new moves, he will fight only using the sword and the dagger. Of course, you will have a companion also, like in previous games. This time the name of the eagle is Enkidu as we said earlier. One new thing now is the marksman can try to target him, so he will lead to new combat difficulties. You can use the eagle also to mark targets. Parkour will be more fun and the game is inheriting certain mechanics from previous games such as the corner swing, vaulting over objects, and using elevators to reach high ground. There is also a pole which allows you to cross large gaps. The city will be big and the crowds will be many, offering many opportunities to bass in while parkouring and free roaming in the city. Assassinations have more options in AC Mirage now. From AC1 we will see the kill from the rooftop gardens, and from AC2 the kill from the bench. The main focus will be on stealth and on not engaging in huge fights. The spearman will poke the haystacks, the horn bearer will call reinforcements, and as we've seen the marksman can shoot the eagle. You will have more bureaus in Baghdad. One thing that is coming back is the possibility to use a filter, which makes the world more similar to the original first AC game. The nostalgic ones will really see this option wonderful. Pre-ordering the game will get you the Prince of Persia inspired gear, the sand skin for the mount, the sand outfit, the sand sword, Dagger of Time, a digital art book, a digital selected game soundtrack, you will also get the 40 Thieves side quest. You also have the option to choose the collector's case, which has what the deluxe contains plus a steelbook with the design to be elected by the fans, Basim's brooch, the mini art book and Baghdad's map, and a figurine of Basim. Creative director Stephen Boudon said that there are currently no plans for an AC Mirage DLC, unlike Odyssey and Valhalla before it, 
Ubisoft does not intend to support Mirage with extensive post-launch updates. This is because there are a lot of other racing games in plan and because Ubisoft has been thinking about creating more smaller racing games from the looks of it. Another great news for Assassin's Creed Mirage is the fact that Ubisoft has partnered with OVO, Haptic Gaming System. They create vests which make you feel every parkour movement, crunch or hit on the vest, making the game even more immersive. This gadget, let's call it that way, is available for PC, PS5, PS4, Xbox, X and S. In short, we need to know the following things. The game will be shorter than the previous games and it will be focused on stealth. There will be no DLCs and no multiplayer. The parkour and combat are enhanced compared to AC Valhalla, so it's gonna be a much more fluid game this one. Hope this video worked well for you, thank you very much for watching the entire video, don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe and I wish you all the best, goodbye.